HMB Bark Endeavour, HMB Bark Endeavour. This is Australian National Maritime Vessel Advance, over. So uh, on behalf of the uh, museum's director and also all the crew on Advance, uh, welcome back to Sydney, welcome home. Welcome back to the back home. We're here in Sydney today for the Endeavour arriving back into the harbour on the Advance Navy Patrol vessel helping the Endeavour come inside Sydney and get a good glimpse of it. My name is Vicky Northey, I'm the head of the audience branch at the Maritime Museum and we look after the circumnavigation by HMB Endeavour of Australia that she's just on her way back from. So it's a very important project for the museum, over 13 months she's been away but also two years in the planning. I'm the mentor of our young trainees that have come down who were a part of the Endeavours leg from Thursday Island over to Darwin. We were invited down to, um, to welcome her back. Well, the significance is part of the Australian National Maritime Museum with its outreach program and taking the museum outside its normal environment being Sydney. So to take a vessel such as this, showing people uh, 18th century sailing, there's that wonderful aspect, but taking the ship nationally around Australia is bringing the museum to its people nationally, not only to major cities but to regional ports as well. Very ambitious task for the Australian National Maritime Museum to undertake, but I think we've done a pretty good job in making sure that uh, nationally, nationally, people are more aware of their, their early maritime history. 645 people have paid to be our voyage crew during 13 months. Most of them will say uh, things like, well, I didn't think I could do that. I never thought it was going to be like that. Uh, working and meeting people they would never have come across before. Testing themselves as well, doing th going up into the rigging and setting sails and doing the watches, uh, sleeping in hammocks, completely out of their usual lives. It's a very humbling experience in a lot of ways and it certainly gives you, um, it's not too hard to imagine what Cook and the sailors or any other early maritime explorer would have encountered or saw so, so long ago. It is also my enormous pleasure this morning to welcome back home uh, the returning vessel and the ship and crew of the Endeavour. Um, what an entrance you made this morning. Spectacular entrance this morning. It's first ever circumnavigation of this country. And as part of the museum's national outreach program, it also took with it a message of friendship and reconciliation. Thank you, Jim, for the kind words and uh, thank you all for coming to see us arrive. It's been quite a epic voyage. The 12,000 nautical miles, and it doesn't seem that long ago, Uncle Max, that we were here 30 months ago. It's over 700 people have been on board the vessel, thousands of people have visited the ship, but uh, touching base, placing the ship, getting the ship to the remote aspects of National Australia has probably either been the highlight of the voyage. So, thank you all for coming. Uh, that does conclude, and I won't stand in the way anymore of those. Uh, those embraces that many of you are waiting for, um, and I'll hand over to the choir. To be honest, yeah, for me it sort of flew by. Um, I was just ha having such an, an enjoyable time. It uh, it really raced past, but you know the the big ports, the small ports, um, and each leg, it's all they've all got their own little memories. Grown a bit as a person, I think I've learnt quite a lot about how I deal with situations and uh, how to deal with other people. I found the whole thing rewarding. You know, circumnavigating Australia and seeing a lot of places and things that a lot of other people don't get the opportunity to see. You can get sick. You fight sickness. You stand watches. You climb masts and fight your fears. And I think after that experience, you just feel totally different, as you do after having faced challenges and overcome fears. I think that's. In fact, what actually makes them so happy at the end. But I just think it's an opportunity of a lifetime and if you get that opportunity or if you think that you want to have it, just do it. Yeah.